and something that's a higher calling as your primary motivation. Your employees love it, the customers love it, yeah, partners love I mean, it, right? Yeah. And you feel better about your job. The interesting thing, the irony perhaps, is that at least within our portfolio, the companies that have that kind of a founding principle actually make more profit and grow their revenue more quickly than the ones that don't. And now it's a low sample set, but the handful that have taken this bold of a step to say, no, 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 that we will not make that our number one priority, actually do a great job. And it occurred to me, and I don't know if this was conscious in your head at, at some point, that if you weren't wildly profitable, the auto industry wouldn't follow you. In other words, this whole mission of catalyzing a shift to a new electric vehicle isn't going to work if the business model is worse than the current business model. And so, even, yeah. you know, it's, it's the obvious byproduct of what you're focusing on. Well, not obvious, but it occurs to me that it's a byproduct. Um, it wasn't obvious at first at all. <laughs> but uh, I'm curious if that thought occurred to you that, oh, yeah, the profits will come. Or, yeah. Eh. Uh, well, we have to generate uh, positive cash flow, or we have to generate enough cash flow to fund future developments which requires having a good gross margin. Um, and, and so I guess one could just say, okay, well, we're going to stop developing new products, and then you would be really profitable. So at any given point, you could sort of say, well, we could be profitable you know, at this point um, in, in a significant way, but, but we've got these great things that we want to develop for the future, and they're a good investment, and that's what we're doing. And similarly, at SpaceX, the, you know, the founding vision was to colonize Mars. Yeah. Um, indirectly. Again, interestingly, catalyzing others well, to move. Yeah. Um, and then you realized, hey, I've got to actually lead this charge, right? Yeah, well, I mean, with SpaceX, uh, originally I started off just thinking, well, how do I uh, increase NASA's budget? Actually, that was my goal. Um, <laughs> so I was, it was like uh, 2001 with just, just talking to a friend of mine, and he asked me, he asked me what I was going to do after PayPal, and I thought, well, you know, I was wondering, like, um, I'd like to get involved in space, but I, I just didn't think there's anything I could do as an engineer.